You've told me that before. You know you're lying. You've done nothing but lie ever since you have been in this room. You are guilty of the murder of your father. Welcome, armchair detective to Tales of Murder, the channel that brings you classic and out-of-print murder mystery and crime fiction stories from authors you've never heard, spanning the golden age of mystery fiction, 1860 through the 1950s. Today's shocking episode, a harsh police interrogation. How far will Captain McCarthy go to get the truth? First, second, or third degree? Grilled by Burns Patterson Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss a suspense-filled story brought to you by Tales of Murder for readers with time to kill. You lie. The words were snapped out, like the spiteful crack of a revolver, by Captain McCarthy, whose great, hulking form towered over the cowering figure of Wellington Van Sand. You murdered your father, shouted McCarthy, as his eyes, with a baleful glare, held the red-rimmed orbs of the younger man. Aside from a white shaft of light, that played on the features of the youth, thus accused of murder. The room was in semi-darkness. McCarthy was resorting to that time-worn instrument of torture of the police, known as the Third Degree. You murdered your father, I tell you, yelled McCarthy. I didn't, replied young Van Sant. His eyes were bloodshot, and in them there was the hunted look of a creature in fear of death. You lie. You did. Here's the gun with which you finish the old man. And McCarthy shoved the revolver, with which he declared the crime had been committed before Van Sant's eyes. Your fingerprints are on its wooden butt. It has been identified as your gun. A shudder of agony convulsed the figure of the young man. His weak chin trembled, and his lips sagged at the corners. The muscles of his face twisted and contorted into a grimace of abject fear. Tears welled up in his eyes. Would this torture never end? I didn't murder my father, whined Van Sant. The gun was stolen from my room by the murderer. I hadn't. There was a resounding crack of the impact of flesh against flesh as the heavy open hand of McCarthy fell full on the white cheek of the alleged murderer. Van Sant's head went back with a jolt. You've told me that before. You know you are lying. You've done nothing but lie. Ever since you have been in this room, you're guilty of the murder of your father. Oh, Lord, stop it, will you? pleaded Van Sant with tears in his eyes. Stop it, I tell you. I didn't kill my father. The gun was stolen from my room by the man who murdered Dad, I tell you. Grasping the young man by either shoulder, McCarthy jerked him to his feet. Then, much like a terrier, shakes a rat, he shook his prisoner. For a moment he gazed into the eyes of Van Sant. Many criminals had quailed before that terrible glint which now shone in the eyes of the policeman. No one had ever been able to withstand those cold, cruel, steel-gray eyes which looked through rather than at the person upon whom they were fixed. With a final shake, McCarthy threw the accused man in his chair and followed with a blow in the face. McCarthy straightened up, a grim smile of conquest playing about the corners of his cruel mouth, for his prisoner was thoroughly cowed and would tell all. Cut! shouted the director, and the cameraman at the Great Western Studio ceased to turn the crank. That was great, boys, said the director, jubilantly. It ought to get over big on the screen. The end.
And so ends the surprising tale of Grill. Did it thrill you? Did it leave you breathless or nibbling your fingernails to the quick? Let us know in the comments. Until next time, Armchair Detective. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another exhilarating tale of murder, mystery, and suspense from tales of murder for readers with time to kill.